I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, this video is all about maintenance for how to keep your gear fresh, uh, how to maintain it between games, and how to avoid stinking up the whole house so that your girlfriend, boyfriend, mom, dad, whatever, don't yell at you. So first off, I'm going to talk about how to get puck marks off your pads and gloves. Now some people like to have a lot of puck marks, but me, personally, I like them to look nice and clean and fresh, especially since they're a white base pad. So every, uh, I would say maybe twice a year or so, I would use a magic eraser just to get rid of some marks, but magic erasers are actually not good for your pads. They will wear away the finish, and you don't want to do that. So I ended up finding something that's a little bit more specialized. This is the Nash Puck Out. Uh, this is a safer way of getting puck marks off your pads and gloves. This next message is for every hockey player, whether you're a skater or a goalie. Wash your damn clothes. Between games, you should be washing your socks, your compression shirt, your compression pants, even your hockey socks. It can all be washed. Just throw it in the washing machine on a cold cycle. I personally like to use uh, Tide Pods. They're for uh, sensitive skin. They're really good for workout gear, so you don't have to worry about your uh, compression layers getting destroyed in the wash. Just do a gentle cycle on cold water, you're good, because it's the number one source of odor, is your base layers, because that's where all the sweat goes. And you don't want to be the guy who opens up his bag in the middle of the dressing room and everyone gags. Same goes for jerseys. Wash them after every game. That way you just keep your the rest of all your gear clean, because once your jerseys start uh, picking up a whole bunch of disgusting bacteria, they just spread to the rest of your gear really easy. So you can buy a really nice $600 Custom Pro chest protector and the first time you put on a filthy jersey, that chest protector is forever tainted. So wash your stuff. It's also a really good habit uh, between games to just check your skates uh, if there are any tears or anything on your laces. Uh, you don't want to be, you know, scrambling to get dressed like five minutes before puck drop and as you're pulling on your laces, the whole thing just snaps. So. Uh, check your laces, replace them regularly as soon as you see any fraying or tearing happening and uh, you'll be good, you don't have to worry about it happening in the worst moments. So between games, try to uh, do a little spot check on your chest protector as well, make sure all the straps are there, make sure none of the buckles are missing, you know, the uh, straps on your arms will kind of tend to loosen over time and sometimes might fall out of the buckle, so, you know, just keep an, keep an eye on things and make sure everything's working and everything's where it needs to be. Next up is Velcro. Our gear has a lot of Velcro straps and attachments and these things you know, lose their adhesive properties after a while. So what I would recommend is get yourself a nice big roll of Velcro tape just so you have it uh, handy whenever you need it. Uh, so whenever you, know, you need to fix Velcro or add to it to make your straps a little tighter, this stuff comes in really useful in a pinch. Now this one's kind of self-explanatory, but uh, once in a while, grab your jock, pop it open, and just double check and make sure your uh, cup is in one piece, it's not cracked. Now you also want to make sure you keep your sticks nicely taped up. This is not going to be protecting your blade very much against shots and uh, it's not going to give you very good control over the puck either if you've got bumps and bits of tape coming off. This is how it should look. And if you need good tape and with lots of different color options, I would recommend Howie's Hockey Tape. I love the, uh, the light blue, matches all my gear perfectly. and. Uh, Really good price for a huge box of tape, and I know I'm not going to run out for a couple seasons, so check them out. Now, behind me is a rocket dryer. I've been using one of these every single time I've played hockey for the last six years. Now, I know it's not as fun as just coming home and plopping your bag in the living room and calling it a day, but if you spend the extra 10 minutes after every game to hang up all your gear in a rocket dryer and let it dry properly with a heat cycle, your gear is going to last you much longer, it's going to stay fresh, it's not going to get as disgusting as you know a lot of people's gear gets, and uh, you know, you're going to get a lot more use out of it. So if you're spending a lot of money on pro level gear, you want to take care of it, you don't want it to fall apart on you. Now the rocket dryer is not specifically made for goalies or players per se, but I fit all my gear in here, no problem. And uh, as for the mask, I like to put it on top because you've got the, uh, the vent holes at the top where the hot air comes out and it will always dry the mask as well. And uh, skates I put along the bottom on the floor and uh, that way, you know, the heat goes in there as well. And, uh, you know, you just zip it up. Put it on a three hour cycle. 
and you're good to go. Now, before I actually put my gear up on the drying rack, I like to spray it with a Reebok cap doter. Now, I've used a lot of different sports sprays over the past few years, and I find the Reebok cap doter has worked the best out of all of them. It just seems to be a little bit better at keeping the odor away. And I like to go and get a nice big gallon jug of uh, refills that, you know, you can find these at Canadian Tire and Sport Check and whatever. And keep my uh, spray bottle full and uh, always ready to use. Now, I also like to keep a spray bottle of white vinegar handy, and I, I like to use this about once a week or so, uh, just treating my gear before putting it on the dryer. And uh, because it's natural, it's not you know bad for your skin, and it's a good way of keeping the gear fresh and just killing off the bacteria that cause odor uh, when you know the sports sprays aren't working as well. So keep something like that handy as well. Now, as for your goalie mask, uh, you should take out your sweatband after every game and throw it in the wash. You don't want this thing to stay in there and get icky. That's gross. And uh, as for the actual uh, foam padding inside the mask, you should, be, you should be replacing this every single year. So go down to your local hockey store and get yourself a foam replacement kit for whatever mask you wear. Uh, that way it not only stays clean, but it's also safe. So another thing I recommend all goalies should have is an accessory bag. Um, and I'll show you what's in mine. First up, I've got a pair of extra inner gloves, um, and I like to have these around just in case my other pair is in the wash, or if I just you know forgot them at home. Um, good to have these around. Extra sweatband, just for the exact same purpose if the other one's in the wash, or if I left it at home. Good to have a backup. In here, I've also got a bottle of uh, antibacterial soap. This way, I can keep my hands clean uh, after every game. And this is not a COVID thing, I've been doing this for years, I just don't like the smell of, you know, sweaty gloves on my hands after a game, so it's good hygiene. Keep your, hand, uh, keep your hands clean and your skin safe. I also keep an extra pair of laces, and these are 108 inches, they're perfect for pretty much all adult size goalie skates. Um, again, you know, if something breaks while you're getting dressed, good to have a backup pair. Also got a tube of uh, ice power cold gel, this is for, um, this is great for, you know, if you've got a bone bruise or a sprain or whatever so you know if you need immediate treatment you can give yourself a little bit of relief after a game. I also keep a box of band-aids in here and uh, you don't want to be the guy who's always asking for tape in the dressing room so I like, I like to keep my extra roll of uh, shin pad tape and stick tape with me. Shin pad tape is obviously for my uh, knee guards but uh, another thing is do not let anyone else in the dressing room know that you always have tape because they will always ask you for it. And I've got a little accessory bag in the accessory bag and just some Various bits of uh, string just for, you know, if you, if you need to replace your dangler with it. Um, I've got a screwdriver just for tightening up bolts and screws and things like that on your pads and your mask. And a pair of scissors just in case you need to cut some lace or cut some string. And uh, yeah, just some basic things to have with you on a regular basis. So that's the end of the video. Um, you know, thanks for uh, listening to all my uh, maintenance and cleaning methods. I hope they help. And, uh, you know, if you've got any that you want to share with me or everyone else, you know, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, as always, please like and, and uh, subscribe and share the video so I can keep doing more of these and uh, help out all the goalies out there. So until then, keep your gloves up, keep your masks on, and I'll see you on the ice.